Good morning, Great R's. I hope you are all doing well. Today, we are going to look at all the shapes that we have learnt about. I hope you haven't forgotten about all of these shapes, but I'm sure you haven't. So we're just going to quickly talk about these shapes. So when you came to Great R, the first shape we looked at was the circle shape. So we're going to sing the song, we're going to make the shape of a circle, and we're going to look at what other shapes can we make using a circle. Okay, now remember if you put your fingers like this, it is like a circle. Okay, let's sing our song. A circle's like a ball, a circle's like a ball, round and round it never stops, a circle's like a ball. Okay, some things in your house that can be a circle shape. A soccer ball is the shape of a circle. If you look at the clock, the clock can be a shape of a circle. Or if you look at mommy or daddy's watch, it will also be a circle. Some buttons on your jackets or on your shirts are, can be in the shape of a circle. Some sweeties are in the shape of a circle. The wheels of mommy and daddy's car is a circle shape. So if you look around you in your room or where you are doing your homework, you will see lots of things that can be in the shape of a circle. Now, if we look at this big circle, you will remember that just in, like it says in the song, a circle has, goes around and around and around. It has no beginning and no end. So that means it also doesn't have any corners. If I take a circle and I fold it in half and I squash it, I have got what we call a semicircle. Okay, it means that it's got one straight side and one side that is almost like a circle. Okay, this is a circle that has been cut in half, a semicircle. Okay, now the next shape we learned about when we were in grade R is a square shape very good great r's a square so you're going to put your fingers like this stick them together okay a square is like a box a square is like a box it has four sides they're all the same a square is like a box okay some things that we can find at home that are squares your serviette or your napkin that you use to wipe your mouth when it's dirty will be in the shape of a square. Cushions or pillows will be a shape of a square. Some biscuits will be a shape of a square. Your storybooks will be squares. Your building blocks. So if you go look at home, there will be lots of things that will be a square shape too. Now, if we look at our big square, okay, a nice big square here. One thing we can see about the square, it has got one, two, three, four sides. Okay, that means it has also got one, two, three, four corners. Very good. These sides of a square are all the same length. Okay, they are all the same. If I turn it this way, it will still be a square. If I turn it this way, it will still be a square. Now, if I take a square and I fold it in half, what shape have I made now, great R's? Good, a rectangle shape. We know that because there are two short sides and two very long sides. So inside a square, we have got two smaller rectangle shapes. Very good. Now, the next shape we learned about when we came to grade R, the rectangle, Ricky rectangle. Okay, now when you're doing a rectangle, I want you to give me this finger and these two fingers. Flip this one and you stick it on top of the other one. You have made a rectangle shape. Okay. Now let's sing our song. A rectangle has four sides. A rectangle has four sides. Two are short and two are long. A rectangle has four sides. Very good. Now if we look here, things that can be a rectangle shape. Your, the flag of our country is in a rectangle shape. The ruler, what you use to measure things, will be a rectangle shape. Some candles can be in a rectangle shape. 
So you look at your door, your bedroom door, your front door by your house will be a rectangle shape. Windows can be rectangles. There's lots of rectangles around. You'll just have to look for them in your room or in your house. Now, if I look at the big rectangle shape. Okay. Let's say our Ricky rectangle poem. Ricky rectangle is my name. My four sides are not the same. Two are short and two are long. Count them all. One, two, three, four. Come right along. So like the poem said, there are four sides in a rectangle. One, two, three, four. That means there are four corners as well. One, two, three, four. Now, how do we know if it is a square or if it is a rectangle? A rectangle. There are two short sides and two long sides. Two short sides and two long sides. These sides are long. If I turn it this way, is it still a rectangle? Yes, because I've got two short sides and two long sides. Now, if I fold a rectangle in half, What shape have I made now, Great Oz? A square. Very good. One, two, three, four sides, but they are all the same. So inside a rectangle, I will have two squares. Very good, Great Oz. The next shape we learnt about is the triangle. Okay, do you still remember how to make a triangle with your fingers? Mr. Glenn like that. Okay. A triangle has three sides. A triangle has three sides. Up the mountain, down and back. A triangle has three sides. Very good. I'm going to move to this side for you. So if we look at some triangles, things that can be a triangle shape. Some, a little pie or a samosa is a good example of a triangle shape. If you are riding in the car with mommy and daddy, you'll see lots of traffic signs that are a triangle shape. When you go to Mrs. Bateman for music, she will show you a little instrument called a triangle that you can play. And some things that you use when you're in big school will be a triangle shape. When mommy makes you your sandwiches at school, she can cut them into a triangle shape for you. Um, some chocolates can come in triangle shapes. So just look out for your triangles at home. Okay, now our big triangle shape. Okay, triangles are very special because they have only got three sides. One, two, and three. So if they've got three sides, it means that they've got three corners. One, two, and three. Okay, now... When we are drawing a triangle, remember we go start from the bottom, we go up the mountain, down the mountain, and back to where we parked our car. Okay, so if I take a triangle and I fold it in half, what shape have I made now? Yes, a baby triangle, a smaller triangle. One, two, three. So inside a triangle are two baby triangles. I can make baby triangles from a big triangle. Okay, can you see that? Very good, great Oz. And the last shape we are going to look at today is our diamond shape. Okay, you can use your fingers and you can make a diamond shape. Okay, a diamond's like a kite. A diamond's like a kite. It has four sides, they're all slanty. A diamond's like a kite. Now, things that can be diamond shapes. Okay, like we said in our song, is a kite. Remember, a kite is what you fly when it's windy. Usually when you go to the beach, you fly a kite. Okay, that's a nice example of a kite, of a diamond shape. Some cookie cutters can be in a diamond shape. 
The pretty jewelry mommy wears can be in a diamond shape. Okay. So a diamond. Let's look at teacher's big diamond. Okay, like the song said, it has got four sides. Let's count and make sure. One, two, three, four. That means it has also got four corners. One, two, three, four. Now, in the song, it said that the sides are slanty. Do you remember what the word slanty means? Slanty means that they stand a little bit skew. They're not up straight like a square or a rectangle. They are a little bit skew. So his sides are slanty. Okay. When I take a diamond and I fold it in half, what shape have I made, Great Oz? A triangle. Very good, Great Oz. Let's make sure. One, two, three. Remember, a triangle has only got three sides. So inside a triangle, look, oh, inside, teacher. Inside a diamond lives two triangle shapes. One on the bottom, one on the top, and one on the bottom. Okay. I'm so impressed that you know all your shapes, great R's. That means you are being super smart at home. Keep looking out for your, dime, for your shapes at home. Remember, you can make a picture using all these different shapes that we have learned about. Teacher will do an activity with you now where we're working with our different shapes. But I'm so proud of you, great R's. Keep working hard and we'll see you soon.